Hello everyone, this is Herb from Aussie Bogan Tech. I'm just doing a quick overview of the cryptocurrency Ether1. It's a dagger hash mo um, F hash coin. It has uh, master nodes. It had no ICO, no initial coin offering, no pre-mine. Um, it, as I said, has master nodes, but has a, what is a block time of uh, 13 seconds. So it's quite a quick block time and you're getting a block reward of 5.6 etho per block with 5.6 going to the miners 2.9 going to the node as node rewards and one etho per block going to the, an ether one treasury which is a pool of funds for marketing and uh you know making wallets and programming and things like that things for advancing the coin um and if you stick around towards the end of this video I'll have a few more things, you know, some non etho related content if you want to stick around towards the end. Now, how about we go down to my shed and have a closer look at the whole thing. Hello everyone. Um, we're in the shed. I'm just going to have a little closer look at the uh, Ethereum One project. Okay, um, just a disclaimer before we get started, this isn't financial advice, I'm just some jerk off on the internet that doesn't know what the F is talking about. Um, and also, I have had no payment for this, like, video, <laughs> like, who would, who would pay me, I mean, um, I don't get money for YouTube, I'm the smallest of small fry, what, I've done one video this year, this will be my second, so there's no way how I'm getting paid for this, just so you know. But also a disclaimer, I do have a little bit of Ethereum, a little bit of Xora coin. Not a huge amount, but a little bit of it. Okay. Now here's their little marketing blurb. Obviously, uh, take this with a grain of salt because it's marketing. But also saying that, you know, I have had very good experience with the Ethereum 1 project. Wallet seems to be working really nice. Transactions happen fast. Fees are small. Um... You know, moving it around on exchanges is quite easy. Um, well, as it, when I mean easy, it's like the exchanges that do list it don't charge much fees for it. Um, there's only one real big exchange for Ethereum 1, which is Stex. And there's uh, another one um, that escapes my mind at the moment uh, for um, Ethereum, uh, no, for the sidechain Xora. What is it? Trade, uh, Trade CX. Yeah, that's where you have to go if you want to trade Xorum coin, which is their side chain. We be trade uh, CX. And for Ethereum 1, you'd go to Stex Exchange. Now, reading a little bit of their um, blurb here, we've got, what do we do? We are offering reliable hosting, a fully decentralized hosting platform that combines blockchain index technology and the IPFS protocol to deliver a decentralized content on demand. The EthoFS network is a fully functioning website hosting platform which utilizes the node network for storage and bandwidth, along with provided DDoS protection uh, and censorship resistance and high reliability due to not having any single point of failure, basically being decentralized. Now, our mission, uh, imagine a world where social media content was completely held in the public domain and was 100% immutable, a voting system that was run with complete transparency, a version of the internet where the Googles, Facebooks and Amazons didn't control a majority of all the web content and traffic flow, the idea of a completely decentralized, democratized, Web that not only not only in a utopia dream, but now achievable. Saying that, that's a bit of marketing hype. If you tried to put all of uh, Facebook or even a tiny point of it on Ethereum one at the moment, it would not handle it. But neither would Ethereum. You know, neither would probably EOS, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's a lot of room in this market of decent with the decentralized internet and putting things on the blockchain, using blockchain as a programmable thing, making smart contracts, that type of stuff, um, uploading stuff onto the internet, that type of things. There's a lot of room in that area, right? There's a, 
there's a lot of bandwidth needed if even a small fraction of what was already out there decides to go decentralized. So can they do it right now? No, but no one can. But it's a goal for the future and um, I think they're heading in the right way. Our goals. Our goals are projects. Our project goals is to bring all this together by providing a streamlined, completely decentralized development and content hosting platform that is usable by anyone. And we've got the team there. And that's a master node currency. So Ethernet one nodes, you've got uh, service nodes, master nodes, gateway nodes. Um, we've got 5,000 Etho needed for the baseline service node. 15,000 for a master node, 30,000 for a gateway node. I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description below. Um, obviously different requirements for all of these things. We've got an Etho block, ward re uh, block reward reduction. Um, that's already had at least one or two, I think, already block um, reductions. So that's coming in 92 days. Um, Indy, come here, girl. Silly puppy, making a bit of noise, trying to record, and you're being an idiot. Hey, come here, girl. Oh, yeah. I need you to be quiet. I need you to be quiet, okay? Good girl. Now back off and go lay down and shush up. Okay, now we've got a bit of information on the network specs. We've got a target block time of 13 seconds. I mentioned this before. Now here we've got a list of the Ether1 node network. So far at the moment, we've got 310 active gateway nodes, 205 active master, master nodes, 73 active service nodes. Um, with a total ETHO locked up at 12,740,000. Here's a list of the emission rate of Ethereum 1. We're at the 3 million block at the moment. So we're only getting uh, 4.5 for mining reward. 2.6 node reward and one for development fund. Here we go, we've got the uh, block explorer. We're running at a little bit over 28 giga hash at the moment with a 396, uh, 396 giga hash difficulty rating. Uh, block time's a little bit high at 14 seconds, so I'm assuming the difficulty's gonna drop a little bit in a bit. They've got a nice selection of wallets. We've got a web wallet. Um, both phones connected, we've got the Android and the Apple covered, we've got a, a beta desktop wallet and the original desktop wallet, I'm using the beta and I've had uh, no problems with it, syncs easily, transactions happen fast, I've been, been quite good for me, touch wood, and you know, obviously my computer's different to everyone else's, things may vary for you. Uh, here we've got the uh, richest 100 list, um, obviously the highest one is Stex Exchange, and uh, they've got what five and a half million, and uh, then we've got GrabX Wallet, then we've got the Ether One Dev Fund address at 140,000. So you need a bit over 57,000. Uh, Ether One to uh, make the first page of the rich list. Here we've got a list of mining pools. I've been mining at etherpool.sexy and I've had no problems with it. Um, it's quite easy to mine this, it's just an Ethash coin, so if you've ever mined Ethereum Classic or Ethereum, same process, very simple. Uh, they've got a white paper up, as I said before, we have links to all of this stuff in the description below. Uh, I've had a quick read through it. You know, basically just a baseline description of a whole bunch of the other stuff I've just said. It just goes into a bit more finer detail. And then we have Exorum. Exorum is their sister chain that they just brought out recently. I've been mining a little bit because uh, it's got really good rewards because it hasn't had any halvings yet. Okay, here's a little marketing blurb for um, the Exorum. Exorum is a rapid development chain where node improvements and other proposed changes will be production tested before rolled into Ether1. 
Both chains will work with and support the global Ethos FS team or network of redundant content delivery nodes. Exorum will deliver additional robustness to the underlying file replication and delivery on a separate blockchain, providing fault tolerance and performance benefits. Most importantly, perhaps, Exorum delivers development process agility. Exorum comes into existence to address a very real problem every cryptocurrency development team encounters when trying to improve software rapidly. The problem is with making changes to existing core functionality and testing new feature improvements, test nets are of limited utility because no one can predict and replicate the use cases of an actual users. The two things which will help most with this software, maturity and real world uses, and the passage of time. With Exorum, we take the two best things into software testing and we use them as our allies to make sure Ether1 only gets changed in ways which will, has been tested by real people, real people over a good amount of time. Exorum allows us to take the spectrum of effectiveness and adoption we can achieve and create further graduations to allow for more use cases and belief systems to coexist within the ecosystems. Those who prefer carefully tested changes can watch Exorum to see how these new features are functions and used within Ethereum 1. Those who prefer to live on the bleeding edge and have access to the latest features can use Exorum, or X -X -E -R -O, Xoro, to the end. To that end, it's worth mentioning that Ethereum 1 will continue as the primary project using the council-based governance system. Exorum will be an ally to Ethereum 1 in a league of confederated crypto coins, <laughs> okay, which will be created shortly after the launch of Exorum later after this month. Exorum will have its own team and some members will be with both Ethereum 1 and Exorum management for the time being while Exorum is being bootstrapped. Okay, so temporarily there'll be some people from Ether 1 in the Exorum team as well. And uh, they're talking talking about making more coins later on. I didn't actually realise that. Um, yep, there was an Exorum airdrop, so everyone that had existing Ethereum in a proper Ethereum wallet got double that amount in Exorum. Okay, next steps. Shortly after Exorum nodes uh, stood up, I'm pretty sure Exorum nodes are up at the moment, but there was a little bit of instability, but it seems to be working okay now. Um, both uh, shortly after Exorum nodes uh, stood up, both Ethereum One and Exorum management will agree to set up, agree to a set of principles in the interest of implementing a management body of engaged and staked participants in the ecosystem. Currently referenced as the Provincial Council, the Provincial Council will be amend and ratify the Constitution of the Federated League of Cryptocurrency. Okay, Federated League of Cryptocurrency. <laughs> the name is not finalised and subject to change. Probably a good idea. The Provisional Council will lay down a last set of requirements to ensure a lasting governance system in the interest of long-term decentralised tech evolution and promotion. The binding document created as the foundation of cooperation between Exorum and Ether1 will be posted for everyone and coins will be encouraged to join in the pursuit of shared purpose. We encourage all stakeholders in the Ethereum 1 project to take stock of what we're trying to accomplish and help us forward a way forward to become even more involved between the creation of Xorum and laying down the ground rules for our flock or you know, federation of coins. Okay, a few different questions here. And here we've got the Xorum website. You've got nodes for the Exorum website, Exorum as well. You've got a super node with 80,000 all the way down to a chain node for 5,000. And a few in between, you know. You've got the team. Main difference as well with Exorum, beside it actually emitting a lot more coins, or double, basically double the coin that uh, Ethereum 1 does. Slightly different emission curve. We have a reduction in the mining rate over time, but a slight increase in node output over time. So you've got the monetary policy here, 20 Xora coin per block, has 13 second blocks, same as Ethereum 1. It's very similar to Ethereum 1, just some minor changes, just produces coins faster and there's a lot less hash rate on it. 
Uh, no reward of four, dev team two. And over time, that reduces down to, at the end, two Exora coin per block for the miners, 1.5 for the uh, dev team, and 14 for block. So, you know, the dev reward only reduces a little bit over time, not by much, but they're only getting a small bit anyway. The uh, node reward's only four at the beginning, but ends up being 14 at the end. But right now, big reward is for the miners. Over here, we've got uh, Stacks Exchange, pretty much the main place you're going to go if you want to buy Ethereum 1. Now, if you look over time here, we've had some very large prices for Ethereum 1, um, all the way up to 7, now 800 Satoshi all the way down to about 25 uh, it's now currently running at about 112 what is it actually let's have a look uh, sell orders 115 buy orders 111 we've got a lot of uh, market depth there a lot of buy, buy depth and um, then if you're looking for Xoro, Xorum coin you've got to go to go trade CX uh, it seems to be, it's a very small exchange, but it seems quite legit to me. Um, over here you've got, you know, buy orders for two Satoshi, sell orders for three. Um, you can mine quite a bit, like, uh, you can get quite a bit, but it's a lot cheaper to probably buy it. Even at three or four Satoshis, it's probably cheaper to buy Xora coin than to mine it. Uh, depending on what you're paying for electricity and what you've got access to, obviously. Um, well, that's pretty much it, I think, on this. Um, my final thoughts. Ethereum 1 is still quite new. Exorum Coin is super new. Um, if they ever, if even if they just keep going in the direction they go and don't fall over on their face or can put, which anything can happen, it's crypto. But if they keep going the way they're going, I can see them being quite a you know profitable coin in the future not financial advice as on as i've said multiple times but um you know, everything's a gamble it could go up could go down but uh the, the team seems to be working fine and it, the the code they're actually progressing they're doing things so this is always a good sign and also um my final thoughts, one of the little extra thing, not related to Ethereum 1 or Xora coin. I just wanted to talk about um, how often I've been putting out videos. Just That's the little private extra thing at the end. Uh, what, done one video so far this entire year and the year's nearly over. This will be the second one. Uh, the thing is, oh, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm really the smallest of small time. No, like, I don't get any money at all. Um, so... I'm just doing this for fun, and I've been very busy. And you know, if I get, if I'm, you know, I do this when I, I can and when I'm feeling like it. I'd much, much prefer to do one or two videos a week, but if I do three or four a year, or one or two or three a year, who knows? Saying that, because I've been doing so little videos lately, just make sure you subscribe and like, click the little bell notification. Because if uh, you don't do that, you'll never know when I have a video out. I do it so rarely. Um, I really appreciate everyone that views this. And uh, I hope you all have a nice day, night, whatever. Um, have a good one, guys. Bye.